Now then guys, how are you doing? Back on the road again. And as you know, right, my car's gone. I undy stitched me up, haven't they? Left me carless. So at the moment, I've had to bother my hands. So I'm driving about in a little blue mini. All right, I look like a fat Mr. Bean, let me tell you. All right, it's got no sat nav, no reversing cameras. I feel like I'm back in, in, in 17 year old learning how to drive. I'm only kidding, it's a nice vehicle. It's all right, but oh, I miss my comforts. Anyway, so today we're going to Pudsey, all right, to a place called Brodie's. Now this place, apparently it is knocking out some absolute banging chicken burgers, burgers, wings, the job lot. So I'm gonna go there, I'm gonna try it out, but I've invited a special guest this time. All right, to come along and uh, help me enjoy the food, hopefully. So let's go. When we get there, we'll see who the special guest is and then we'll we'll tuck in and see how Brodus is doing. Come on, guys, let's get going. Aeroplane mode, forward. <laughs> Pudsy, Pudsy, yeah, yeah. So I've beaten a Pudsy, guys. It's that rattling around in my mum's car. <laughs> right, I've beaten a Pudsy a couple of... It feels weird driving another car, you know. Been a Pudsey a few times, I did, uh, what was it, I did a bearded sailor, didn't I? Went down, did a bearded sailor, had a bit of fish and chips, it were all right. So today, we're off to Brodie's and I'm meeting a special guest. Who, uh, as usually, got quite a bit to say, or it picks away at people, all right? So, obviously everybody who lives in Leeds for this particular video would have seen the, uh, what this person does. So, I'm not gonna let the cat out of the bag just yet. So, yeah. The problem with Pudsey is, now the only problem I find with it is it's in a bit of a dip. Phone signal around here is a bit of a nightmare. So, you know, I'm a bit worried about that, just in case uh, kids phone or my mum phones, I'm gonna have to try and put my phone somewhere where I can get a bit of signal. But anyway, we're up busy around here. Right, let's get part. So, Broad is just down here, it is. Let's get parts up. Hopefully. Oh, yeah, look, spot here, look, we'll get in here. Oh, 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 oh. Up to a minute. Oh, hey, there we go. Right, guys, so we're here. This is Broad is just on the corner. All right, let's go see what it's all about and let's see if a special guest has arrived. Come on. Whoa. Right, guys. <laughs> Get this fat Mr. Bean. Whoa! Ah, there we go. So I'm out. Come on, man. to move, mate. Sorry, love. Sorry, love. Eh, cameraman nearly got run over. Right, let's get knacker cracker away. Hey, <laughs> what do you reckon, guys? Hey, 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 New vehicle till I get a new vehicle. My mother, she's come to the rescue. Boom, boom, open the boot up. Right, so, I've got my table, right? I've got my emergency chair from Vanessa, and I have got, oh, oh, oh mum's car, sorry, mum. I'll buff it out. <laughs> I've got my chair, so let's go see, let's lock up. I'll make sure mum's car's locked. And then we'll go see if uh, special guests arrive. Right, guys. Whoosh. Can't believe weather and all. Eh, raining. Get a guest in and it starts to rain. Here we go. Here it is. Hi, Danny. All right, Samuel. Thanks for inviting me along to your video. No problem. So, guys, this is Samuel, right? And what he does, he works for Leeds Live. He's a reporter, so you travel around, don't you? Dude? That's me. I go all over the place talking to many different people, picking up lots of different stories. Right, so today we're at Brodie's, so we're going to mic him up. All right, we'll be back with you in a minute and then we'll go see what they've got to offer here. Eh? You're turn the camera on me, aren't you? That's it, yeah. Right, <laughs> see you in a bit, guys. Right, come on then, mate. Let's go see what we've got going on. Hiya, love, you all right? Yeah, yeah. Very well, thank you. Right, let me pop my luggage down. I've got a bit today. Right, so we've come today to try out these beautiful burgers that we've been eating and wings and all sorts of stuff. So, menu's here. Right, mate, what, what are you fancying? Uh, so much choice, isn't there, you know? Uh, what would you recommend? What's popular? The loaded fries are really well. The boneless bites and the burgers are banging. So yeah. What's what's best selling burger? The fried burger, the chicken burger, or the beef one. I'd recommend the smoke. So all the burgers. 
all the burgers. Well, I'll tell you what, I want to try a few things. So, can I get the Brody smoked cheeseburger, please? Yep. And can I get the, um, ooh, what would you, what's the difference between the Brody smoked fried chicken burger and the Brody special? What's, what's the difference between those two? All right, so the Brody sauce that I make myself, yeah. that is on the Brody, so it's basically some fried chicken burger, but coated in the Brody special sauce. All oh, right, I see. So that's just uh, slightly, slightly better than the Brody yeah. special, yeah. All right, I I'll get that then. A Brody smoked cheeseburger, Brody smoked fried chicken burger. I'll get two of those. And you're saying the specials are decent as well, yeah? Um, you, right. Let's have a look. Uh, cheeseburger fries, there's sriracha loaded fries, oh, okay. bacon and. Do you know what? I'm tempted to get the uh, sriracha loaded fries with that. Yeah, that sounds good to me. A little bit of sriracha. You're a fan of sriracha? Do you like spicy food, yeah. Danny? It all depends. On, well, that's probably going to be all right for me. I've had some stuff that's yeah. really, really... Really? Whoa, well, really. Yeah. yeah. It's right. not too hot, it's so... so... Oh, no, no, that's fine. Can I have... So I'm going to go different then. So I'm going to go... I'll have the uh, Brody Special. Brody Special. And that's chicken, isn't it? It is, yeah. And then I want to go for just the uh, good old-fashioned cheeseburger. But can I have no pickles on both my burgers, please? Yeah. You're not a fan of pickles? No, I, I find it's too salty. Do you take pickles out of everywhere you go? Yeah, yeah. So when I go to that chain burger place, whip them Big out. Big Mac. Yeah. 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 Whip them out, do you? Whip them out. From, from, from all over the floor and... Window. Window, yeah? <laughs> see how, see how fast <laughs> they go Stick, down. Yeah. Yeah. And I just checked, did you want the smoked cheeseburger and the smoked chicken burger? Oh, yes, please, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I feel very greedy, but I'll, yeah. uh, I want to try what you've got, you know? But I've got a very big appetite. Yeah. And I've then, probably got a bigger appetite than you. <laughs> well, I don't know about that, mate. We'll have to see. Uh, can I try some of the uh, barbecue boneless bites? Yeah. And the teriyaki wings, please. Well, that sounds a bit funky. Teriyaki wings, you know? Yeah. And I'll pay for this, mate. Don't we? I've oh, brought, brought you out for what dinner. What a today. gentleman. As my guest. Would you, you so like much. a drink? Oh, yes, please. Wet I think I'll, whistle. I'll definitely need to wash that down with something. Where, where are the drinks? So, so there's right. Coke, Diet Coke, Fruit Shoot, if you're feeling a bit fruity, have some water. Yeah. <laughs> there you go, guys. Feeling a bit fruity. I'll tell you what, uh, can I get a... Um, oh, coffee. Uh, I can't drink coffee, you know. I can't, see, caffeine just doesn't, doesn't affect me well. I'm, too, I'm hyper enough already. Milkshake. Yeah, milkshake. milkshake. That's interesting. I was thinking of milkshake. Where are, where are your so milkshakes? the flavours, we have we Lotus, Oreo, Milky Bar and Malteser. So what's that? Maltese, Lotus, Oreo, and Milky Bar. Yeah, I'm a very awkward customer, you see, so. Uh, uh, are they on the. No, sorry, they're not on the menu. All oh, right. Maltese, Lotus, Oreo, or Milky Bar. Oh, I see, right. There's so much choice there, isn't there? Are you going to get a milkshake? I will have a Maltese one, please. Okay, and what's the, what's the Lotus? That's the Lotus, Biscoff thing, nice. isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go on, I'll well, try that, please. Time, guys, and can I get a yeah. bottle of water as well? Now, now, now I've said I'm paying, he's, he's having a milkshake and a bottle of water. These Lotus, Biscoff. <laughs> these oh, biscoff uh, reporters are like well i need to wash it all down all that sweetness you know yeah oh well, i'm getting a bottle of water as well there you, there go. you go how much is that all together bill? yeah ready for bill <laughs> it looks like i'm paying a fortune here <laughs> how much are we well i'm your guest you know oh. but i was saying yeah i can't drink caffeine it's i'm already hyper enough already like it <laughs> Just puts me i can tell edge. I can tell. Yeah, okay. as, soon, as soon as I said I will pay Bill, you were like, I'll have a milkshake, but <laughs> bottle of water, extra fries. Sprang into, uh, <laughs> sprang into action, yeah? Yeah. Very persistent. Uh, 46 please. See? Fetch it in again. <laughs> Wrong one. I'll pay card, please, love. Don't mind if I take this in. No, no. Just add it onto to my bill. Yeah, it would. Yeah. <laughs> oh. So guys, I've got my chair. You can. I've got my table and I've got my emergency chair. So I've fetched you some. Hopefully the rain's going to hold off. And we can oh, sit don't outside. Know. Don't tempt fate, Danny. And enjoy the fresh air. But if not, mate, I sit out in rain, so you're going to have to get wet. Yeah. <laughs> you haven't got, you've not got a brolly or anything like that? No, mate, no. You're too hard for a brolly, are you? Northern. No, you got your um, you got your hood, haven't you? I suppose. Yeah, that's it. I hope that goes through, you know. <laughs> <You're being bad. laughs> right, cheers, well, thank you. So, thank what I'm going to do, love, we're just going to sit outside, if that's all right. Can I'll you fetch them out you. when we come out with milkshakes? Yeah. Is that all right? Because we'll set up, 
Get my knacker cracker away, guys. It's flowing now. Right. And we'll get going. Right, let's go for it, mate. Let's. Do you hand with anything, or? You could. I'm going to let you have the director's the chair. The director's chair. Yeah. yeah You're an interesting story behind this as well, yeah, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah. Let's I'll go have for to it. Hear that. Come on. Where are we setting up, Danny? Well, I have to find a perfect spot, okay. which I think is going to be about here. Oh. So, we get my table out. This is the uh, the director's chair, yeah? That's the director's chair. So, if we go, I reckon sort of like that, on an angle, cameraman, what do you reckon? And then you're going to get us both in there like that. Because it's weird, when it's on my own, obviously it's face on. Yeah. So, I think we both need the, do we, we need this, this, like this way, so we've both got enough. Room. What a go on end like that. Yeah, yeah, if we'll you're on that, that corner, I'm on this corner, you're on that corner, then yeah. yeah, a lot of you know, I think we've got all the feng shui sorted out, haven't we? So my god guys, I'm not used to this. I'm used to just, <laughs> just popping it up and going for it. I know. Well I'm an awkward character, so, you know, so I'll uh I'll push you into <laughs> the story behind this go. chair. Alright. So oh this one, is the chair that's got the story. Yeah, so this one was sent from by a fan. So I used to have an old chair, my old chair was like this, used to yeah. carry it about. And I, I broke it beginning of the year. But in November, I got a, a letter through post and she was saying, I'm trying to send you a gift and the Royal Mail won't take it, it won't go to your PO box, it's mm. too big. And it took us ages to get it. Right. And unfortunately, I went and bought this chair when really broke. But it's from Alaska over Vanessa, and as you can see, look, on the back there, look at that. Right, my takeaway. Yeah. And then she's had my name on it. So look, turn, turn it around for the camera. Yeah. Janet, there you go. Oh, there. Drop a little chair, that isn't it? That's fantastic, yeah. So I use this as I'm gonna use this now as like my travel chair or my yeah. special guest chair. Special guest chair. Yeah. So okay. let's have, let's take a seat, mate. Yeah, let's do it. Sit down, put that a cracker away, get me sense sorted. <laughs> chair test. You didn't do chair test. If that would have broke, then it would have been so funny. Oh wow, well, I'm too <laughs> I'm not I'm Bosh. too unobservant. Right, we're in. Careless. I, I'm 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 fatter than you, so I put the table <laughs> to me. So yeah. I think this will get us both. Should I, should I go over here? You can get us there. Yeah. I'll talk to the camera. Oh, okay. There we go. The camera's very far away. Is it always? He's all right. right. He's, he's coming up. He's now. always all oh, right. Fair enough. Cameraman, and we don't feed cameraman. No, we don't feed him. No. Apparently not. No, but he does get some food. But yeah. not well. He, he, he don't eat with me. I'm very rude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you're lucky today. We can throw so, a few leftovers. Yeah. A few scraps. Yeah. Yeah. So guys, like I said, we're here today. Myself, the big man, right, and Samuel from Leeds Live. That's right, Sammy P. And that's it, we've come to try Brodie's. I've got to say it smells nice in there, I can't wait to uh, try this food. There's some beautiful stuff on menu. Yeah, we've got milkshake, he's brought me bank. As yeah, <laughs> soon, yeah, soon as I said I'm paying, that way, I'll have a bottle of water and a milkshake. Oh, yeah. All right, that's reporters for you. Apparently they don't get paid enough. Is that true? <laughs> 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 no, I see. I can't, no, I, com no comment. I'm know. stitching no him up comment. now. So, thanks a lot, just a while, for coming along. Uh, my pleasure. I, I've know. just got to, you know, Obviously, I'm usually on the other side of this, where I'm sat down and, and, and people like yourself are interviewing me and asking me questions. So I thought I'm just going to mix it up. We can have a conversation, yeah. but I'm going to ask you some stuff. And the first thing that's on my mind is, as a reporter, mm. you know, it must be a difficult job because I know myself when when things are going on and things are happening within in, in, in you know day life, and you're trying to get footage of it, you know. Do people get aggressive with you? Have you had occasions when people have had a go, shouted at you? Oh yes, I've, uh, yeah, have, have had all of that, yeah, where people have tried to sort of grab my notebook off me, uh, yeah. rip off a page if they decided they don't want to be interviewed anymore. And um, yeah, I've had a man, uh, this wasn't in Leeds, this was down in Gloucestershire where I used to work. <laughs> you got a fan there? Yeah. Um, I'm sure they'll put their thumbs up for you and yeah. not me. Oh. They weren't just a big, <laughs> well, just a big fan well, of Leeds Live. Well, like that, Leeds Live's yeah. here. <laughs> <laughs> They're doing a video um, with no, some fat guy at his table. <laughs> I, had one, I had one chap when I pulled up somewhere and I was a bit close to a scene. They didn't like me being there. Uh, really got into my face and like shouted in my face, yeah. you know, like um, very intimidating. And uh, in that moment, you, you don't really, you know, you, you're in a bit of a precarious position. You don't know what to do. It's, uh, you feel, you do feel slightly vulnerable because, yeah. you, but you've got to remain professional. You've got to keep calm and keep going. And, uh, and uh, also sometimes you do go to places where, you know, emotions are running high and you've got to recognize that and you've got to sort of take a step back sometimes. You know, it's not always about getting the story. It's about That's it. approaching it the right way. The, the thing for me is, is, is I find is what, what, what I envisage would be a difficult being a reporter. Mm is that uh, 
the, the sensitive stories where you know it's emotional or you know something bad's happened and you've got to try and get in there and get that footage and, and your boss is saying to you oh, look I want this story today for me as a person I, I think I'm that you know people say I'm a, a big soft jolly giant I don't think I'd be able to you know if people were saying oh, get away I don't want to be filmed and all this and I wouldn't be able to do it I, I'd, I'd respect their wishes but sometimes as a job you've, you've got to try and yeah but how, how does it feel with that? Do you, do you, sometimes do you feel, you know, do, do you get to that point where you go to yourself, it's a job, but it's a person? Um, I suppose I've never really done any stories, I think, where, like, the subject has just, um, you know, re really been against it. Or really, yeah. I'm, I'm trying to think. Generally, they've, they've been quite sort of harmonious, the, the interviews I've been doing, uh, you know, when I go out somewhere. And generally, if you're filming a uh, like a breaking scene, you know, like a breaking incident, yeah, like yeah. a police incident or something like that, um, you just got to sort of think. Um, you, you've got to you've got to balance it out, really. You've got to balance it out. So, for example, once uh, one of my first jobs in Leeds, I went to a crash site where someone had very sadly, uh, very tragically died. I think yeah. the night before. I think this was uh, West um, East End Park, right? And uh, someone had crashed into a um, uh, like the gate, like a like a, uh, a, a, a like a brick sort of like yeah. a gate next to a, yeah, a couple you know, of hours, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and I had to go there and to film footage of the damage and I was in quite a precarious position because I realized that people would be watching that you know on their phones whilst I'm doing my Facebook live and they'll, yeah, yeah. You know, they'll have been personally affected by it and then you get all the commenters on there and some people can be very obnoxious online they can be uh, you know very insensitive in terms yeah. of what they say so if I'm in a position like that I just start the Facebook live video and say right look someone's been personally affected here it's a tragic incident yeah. I've been asked to come out here and and cover this and show you what's going on let's keep the you know let's keep the comments you know um, tasteful I suppose yeah. or just bear in mind that someone has been perfectly affected here you, you got you want to get ahead of it and the top foot because you know sometimes you do go to these places and people get annoyed at you uh, in the comments thinking that you're being insensitive and of course the people who have been affected by the incident I think, think as well the thing is obviously everybody wants to know what's going on Some, something happens especially like on, mm. on social media everybody wants to know what's happening and some, something goes live and, and then you know all these conspiracy theories go on about what's happening so for a way it's a good thing that you're there to portray what's happening but, conspiracy theories what do you mean you know like so for example uh, you know, uh, there was something that went off in, in town the other week and, and people were saying, oh, uh, it's a stabbing, it's a shooting, some, somebody's been robbed. So, you know, I think without people like you going out there to cover the story, you know, you, you hear everything, don't you? Just people start adding tales to what they think it is. Oh, I think it's this, I think it's that. So in a good way... Yeah, well, that's something you've got to bear in mind as well. Like, before I do my videos, when I go out somewhere, or whilst I'm getting a story, I'll hear a lot of rumour, I'll hear a lot of speculation. And you may very well realise that's probably what's happened, but yeah. you can't say that. You've got to be responsible yeah. when you're reporting it. You've got to put out the... Uh, and that's when you... The most nerve-wracking ones are when I go to a crime scene. And we might not have a police report, or we might have a police report, you know, a, a statement from them. And a... Um, you just got to make sure it's accurate and keep to the. Yeah. It can be very stressful sometimes because uh, you're just going to make sure nothing you say is inaccurate, you know. Yeah. And also, you, you don't want to sort of prejudice the jury in any way, you know. Like yeah, yeah. all articles and stuff you put out there, they've got to have balance, they've got to be accurate, and uh, yeah, you, you've got to make. You, what about a very precarious position. Sorry? So, emotions. Have you, have, have you. It's just me being curious, guys. It's, no, no, sure. I'm just rambling on. That's fine. Right? And usually we're tucking into food by now, but... It's very rare people ask yeah. me about yeah, it, so yeah. I'm very happy to uh, talk, tell, ask it. Ask me, yeah. And, and it's just curious for me because we're, we're out filming and I, I, obviously I'm doing what I'm doing and, and I'm giving people an opinion on the food that I'm eating. Yeah. Uh, and I'm, I'm just doing my everyday thing, just mm. being me. And people are, are commenting on our videos to say that uh, how humbling I am and how I've helped them through yeah. lockdown and, and all this and, and in tr true reality they've helped me through a tough time in my life mm. uh, but I hear some you know people email me or they'll talk to me off camera yeah. and there's some really heartbreaking stories and yeah. sometimes for me when I'm sat at home and I'm reading these emails I struggle personally because it's heartbreaking to think that within within the world it is today, we, you know, we've got so many people suffering with mental health issues and especially with COVID, stuck in it. Well, 
Well, and you've got the crisis in uh, Ukraine as well, yeah. and you've got lots of leads Ukrainians who have been affected by it, yeah. and you know, speaking to them about what's going on there. So, so when you know. you're in the front line, and you're all there doing a report, how would you deal with emotion? Uh, has, has anything got your emotion? Yeah, it has, yeah, sometimes, yeah. I once interviewed a woman about her, um, uh, this was back in Gloucestershire, about her, this woman whose child had sadly died at a very young age, and someone was like desecrating the grave, like, um, uh, you know, it was just sort of like uh, graffitiing it, all that yeah. sort of stuff, taking away gifts this, and stuff. Is this put next no, this was down in Gloucestershire a few yeah. years ago. And I remember just interviewing this woman on the phone, and I was, I was just absolutely breaking up. Like yeah. I was finding it hard to, and it happened recently as well. Um, I think with all the COVID stuff as well. I remember I was interviewing people about their, um, you know, their uh, deceased relatives. Yeah. And yeah, it was it was slightly hard to keep it together on the phone. And uh, sometimes I'll just say to them, you know, I'm, I'm finding it hard to keep, keep together. It's very yeah. sad. You know, it's not like in, um, for example, here's an interesting distinction. Uh, an interview that I would do that's not going to go on TV, is not going to be, uh, not going to go out live. It's more of a chat in some yeah, ways, yeah, really. Yeah. So I'll chat to them, you know, like, uh, I won't have a set, written out set of questions. Well, it, or obviously, points, yeah. I, I met you all through that sort of process. We, yeah. we met up and we had a chat. Yeah, and yeah. we talked about a lot of things, you know, within, within my life. So you know, and, and, and so I so I understand what, what you're saying there, but mm. I just wanted just to get your opinion because, I, I, yeah. like I say, I find it difficult sometimes. Uh, but I think that's I, I'm an emotional person, and I'm one. You know, I sort of pride myself in wearing me out on my sleeve. Yeah, no, no, too. Uh, yeah, I, I get what you're saying, and I'm I'm very much the same like that. You know, I'm a very open and honest person, and uh, yeah, you just got to sort of do do the best you can, bring yeah. justice to their story. And um, but you've got to be brave sometimes, you know, you've got to ask those those deeper questions. You've got to get into that sort yeah. of issue and that subject. And uh, a lot of being a reporter is being brave. So a lot of what I do is um, I'll go to an area with a bigger story in mind. You know, for example, I went yeah. to Meanwood recently and uh, it was all about these sort of road plans that are in the works. And I yeah. went there thinking, right, I'll ask business owners, I'll ask people who live there what they think of these emerging road plans. But whilst I'm there, I'm going to knock on every door and to see if I find some characters, some sort of quirky yeah, yeah. stories, some more, uh, I don't know, uh, um, more sort of harder, harder news stories. Um, I, I can relate to that because that's exactly what, what happens with us. So, so we're out and I'm filming and then people just approach me and you know what can turn from me just having a a, a a burger into having a right laugh and a joke with somebody because they're such a character yeah. and it can uplift your day as well when you're meeting these people oh it's but fantastic you know i'm not going to pester you too much more <laughs> let's wait for this food yeah i can't wait i'm ready for it builds up such an appetite yeah. talking about all that burger, stuff burger wings shake <laughs> we've got it all going on so we're back at you in a bit guys all right my tummy's rumbling, but my hands are starting to get cold. Let's get ready. Oh. Fantastic. Cheers. Look at this. The sad reporter. Yeah, that's oh, right. Yeah, right, right on. Yeah, look Thank at that. Thank you very much. Wow. Cheers. Right. These so, look, they look, look damn right. luxurious, don't they? They do. Look at that. They do. They look all right, then. Of course you oh, can. Do you want to? Do you want to? Do you want to sit next to him and? Uh, look at you, Gates. Yeah. Uh, well, I've got a special guest today. I'm a special guest. Yeah. So this is all right, this is a, a live though. reporter. So I've fetched oh, him along <laughs> to, to to have a bit of a try with me. So. Do you want me to get you a photo of you and Danny? Yeah. Tell you now. Hunting. Hunting for you. I don't know, I'm a taxi driver, I've been driving all over, never spotted you. Well, give it a wave because you're going to be on video. Oh, no, I don't want to be on video. You want to edit me out. You've got that. benefits. That's <laughs> 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 what it is. Look at these spots, take a picture. <laughs> all right. Come on then. Do you want me, do you want me to come out? Of it? Well, do you want me to get in it? Get in oh, it, right, come on, we'll have it. Got it. Yeah, thank you. Hey, that'll go. Right. That's fantastic. Cheers. Thanks. Oh, we're here. Oh, thank you very much. Whoa. Yeah. Cheers, guys. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> very windy. Cheers. Okay.
Small. Oh, look at this. Look at this. What's this? What you got? Oh, that's a cheeseburger. I think yeah. that's yours. That's mine, mate. Smoked. You're, oh, you're on smoked burger. Shit, I'll nick some of your chips. It's all right. I'll let you have one. So, look, don't be digging in. Let, yeah, we've got to wait, get the food out here. It's got all to come together, yeah? Yeah, and then that's what I like to do. I, I, great. I find it best, and then I can show up cameraman. So, we can unwrap these burgers. Let's unwrap this one while we're waiting for this. Okay. Sure. So, you've got what? You've got there? Smoked beef. I just worry that I'm, everything's going to fall off. Yeah, smoked beef, yeah. I have this problem, right? Now, what you've got to do with your rubbish, you've got to stash it somewhere, because I don't like littering. <laughs> right? And if it blows off the table, you've got to get up and get it. Oh, Christ. <laughs> I'm going to have to watch out here. So, you, here can't, you can't have a bite yet. Oh, bit of foil. They're wrapping these up, aren't they? Right. There you go. Whoa, look at that. That's, an, that's a very attractive looking, looking big burger. That, that, isn't look it? at that. Look at the colour of that. Oh. So I've got, you've got the it's double, like the double smoked, isn't that. it? With the smoked bacon, and I've got just a, a plain cheeseburger. A nice bit of fresh salad on there. That's like, oh, know, oh, it's I'm a double. Greedy, I'm a greedy kid. Comes as a double. Look at that. Whoa, that's it. Right, I can't have no yet. Okay, I'll put that there. I know. You've got to wait. It's so tempting, isn't it? I know. You're torturing me, Danny. It happens to me, I sit there and they're bringing it out bit by bit. <laughs> Ooh, that's great to see. Oh, chicken burger for you. Oh, fantastic. Cheers. Thank you very much. <laughs> we've got loads here, haven't we? We've got loads. We've got too much. We've, so, got, we've got some specials as well. Yeah, so what I usually do is obviously taste it, talk about the food, okay. uh, and then we review it. And then when we're off camera, you can scoff it all. <laughs> oh, right, okay, okay, okay. So I'll, follow, I'll follow your lead, yeah. you know. Um, so, yeah, you we'll talk about something like lots of people come up and like recognize you, yeah. you know, when you're sitting out here. Where's the furthest destination that you've been recognized uh, whilst filming, you know, whilst you've had your table and stuff out, you know? Uh, whilst I've had the table out yeah. is obviously when we went to, we've been to Dublin, been to Scotland, but I've been on holiday. I've not, I've not taken the table, but I've been to Tenerife. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. got recognised in, the in nightclub, Tenerife. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, <laughs> not that nightclub, I'm too old for that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but I was in Fort Aventura re recently. Sat there, out Paul, just from his shorts on. I, you know, sat there sunbathing, and, and people are coming up recognising me. So it's, it, it's a bit unreal sometimes. You know, I think to myself, my God, what? Is, yeah. You know, I have to pinch myself. You don't let it go to your head. So, no, no, and I, I, I like that. I like. I'll talk to anyone, and, and I'm a believer, like, with my me, me fans on here, mm. without without them, I won't be able to continue what I'm doing, so thank you very much. And I like to talk to you all, as you know, I rub it on. Do you know the funniest thing is, when I was setting off to come here, like, your voice came on the radio. Yeah. It was a nice little, <laughs> it was a nice little feeling just departing off and just hearing, hearing yeah, what yeah. you were going to say. Yeah, I did know? a radio interview this morning, it was for, uh, so I did a, 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 a many Curie, uh, event yeah. last weekend and on the 23rd of March it's a uh, re reflection day what they're doing yeah so it's to reflect on basically loss uh, so I've done that so that's going to be available to download on their website on the 23rd so it's a nice little video I, I got to meet some nice people so National Day Reflection so check that out of course yeah so I'm going to see where cameraman give it a shout see if rest is coming out here so we, we can start <laughs> munching on this if it's not coming out then, yeah? yeah, so you put your beef and your chicken. All right, there. let's have a look at this. So I'm, I'm waiting for mine. So what we'll do, you will wrap that. Okay. Hey, up. Oh, that's good. Oh, somebody's shooting, is it? It's going everywhere. Okay. Right, it's a nice windy day, isn't it? I do, I do worry that it's all going to end up on the on the pavement in seconds. Um, so yeah, you were just telling me about something before. Uh, Oh, here we go. Oh, Thank you very much. Pies wow. And Look at this. Special burger. That's for me. Incredible. And the wings. Yeah, lovely. Do you want to have a look yeah, at this? Uh, I'll tell you something, we have, we have gone all out here, go, haven't mate. we? I know. Eh? Here you go, and here's the chicken. More night fetching a... special guests, son. Okay. <laughs> so that's it. Oh, yeah. So, so you've gone for two smoky options there, haven't you? You've gone for the smoked chicken. They came, you know, recommended. So yeah, I the smoked, I'd... the smoked beef, okay, and I think it's the bacon good. that's the smoked on it. Oh, so I see, I've got right. the beef burger here, and then this is the Brody special chicken burger. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> I like to do a few sing songs as well now and again. So for it, yeah. Yeah, so let's have a look at this. Oh, oh, oh. Look at that bad boy. Wow. 
What's, the, what's that sauce? Is that so this is sauce? this is what she was saying, the Brody's special sauce. Yeah. Oh, the pickles oh, on there. And she's put my pickles on though. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Tell her, I think she was supposed to give me that. She thought I had that one, didn't she? She got mixed up with them that many people. Well, if you want to give me your pickles, I'll take them. You can take I them, love mate. Pickles. You'll take them off there. Go, go swipe on. your pickles. Get them off. I love pickles. Here we Get go. them off. There we go. Lovely. There you go. Lovely. Right. And this goes on the chicken, does it? Wherever you want it to go. Whichever one ain't got pickles there on. There we go. <laughs> Right, so I'm going to wet my whistle first, mate. These, these shakes look good. I'm going to so have a taste of So Lotus, you've got the Maltese here? Yep. So, uh, absolutely banging. Oh, that is, isn't it? That's nice, that. Oh, yes. Right, Whipped cream. It's set down from heaven, isn't it? No? Whipped cream. <laughs> mm. Taste you know, it. You know, you, know when, you know when I like food? Yeah. When I go like this with my finger, like that's, that's how you know it's good. When I don't say out and... It's banging. the only thing that shuts me up I say banging. Food. Yeah, I say banging. Right. <laughs> so I'm going to try... Let's try some of these fries first, so... Look like little skin on fries, they've got a bit of a seasoning on. So let's get the thumbs up or the thumbs down. Yeah, crispy, crunchy. Yeah. What do you think? Let's have a look. Yeah, yeah, I've uh... Perfect, yeah, just like... Perfectly cooked, nice and crispy, not overdone, yeah. Yeah, they were, ni they were nice fry them. Nice little bit of paprika on there as well. I'm saying there's a nice bit, of, nice bit of spice on. So in Hull, when I review in Hull, they have chip spice on everything. Everything, it's nuts. They have what on everything? Chip spice. Chip spice? What's yeah. chip spice? Chip spice. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there's a certain type of spice that's. So it's like the paprika it. and salt and that, and it, it, they oh, shake I it see. on. So it's, it looks Lovely. a bit like this. Mm. Right, mate, I'm going to dig into this burger. So we've got the big. This is just the, the normal cheeseburger, full of salad, two big patties. Let's have a go at this. Oh, oh, oh. I've been greedy and I've got the uh, smoked one. <laughs> oh. It's a steak burger, that, isn't it? Beautiful. Yeah, it's lovely. Incredible. And that, this lovely fresh salad. Brioche bum. Two thick steak burgers. Look at that. Cheese. What's yours, like? Yeah, it's, um, I can only sort of sing my praises, really. Like, um, like I should hold it up whilst I talk to, to it. Um, like, it's got lots of veg, which is really fresh. Um, the burgers are great, they're not like, you know you go to some places and they're just really greasy. Yeah. These aren't greasy at all, they're fantastic, you know, the bread's not like soggy or anything like that. And this, um, the bacon's just so crunchy and it's got such a rich colour and, yeah, it's uh it's You're taking my job, are you guys? <laughs> rich colour. <laughs> right. So I've got a, uh, this is the Brodie's chicken burger. Minus the pickles. Okay. So she will say, "Oh, look at that! Look at that, guys!" So some way up, the chips are going. Oi! Let me get this back open for you. Oh, do you want me to cut the back here? So this is the Brody's special sauce. Chicken. Thanks. Bus has just turned up as usual. Right on key. I'm going to pause. <laughs> look at all these uh, passengers. They're all quite. This uh, <laughs> little old man is. Uh, um... So, <laughs> nice sesame seed in brioche bun. Nice bit of salad. That's quite quick, little salad leaves. What, so what's on yours then? Uh, <laughs> I went for this pasty old pass. They are looking quite curious, aren't they? Yeah. Um, so yeah, this is, yeah, it's very big. Uh, so yeah, double so double pickle on. A do is it double pickle? Well, no, because you put mine oh, on no. <laughs> I wasn't. Oh, I see, right, I wasn't hoping to have double pickle. I might put these to one side yeah. for now then. And, have uh, them on the side. Have them, <laughs> have them on the car journey home. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, um, right, so yeah, so we've got uh, yeah, lots of fresh veg again, and the chicken just looks, I haven't tried it yet, but the chicken looks really nicely cooked as well, you know, nice and crispy. And, uh, <laughs> I'm going to go for mine, mate. I'm going to go Here for we it. Go. I'll Let's go for mine too. Mm. Whoa. Now that. So we've got a nice chicken fillet. The sauce is like a. It's a cross between a barbecue and like a tomato -y tang. It's their own special sauce. It's got a slight little bit of spice to it. Oh, I see. But it tastes really good, that. Is that the Brody special, yeah? That's the Brody special. Oh, I see. That's right good. Now. Yeah, I wish I'd tried that um, sauce. I didn't realise. I bought this other sauce on it as well, but um, it tastes it bang on, really good, you know, like, um, yeah, just really fantastic burger. Quality of the chicken's good as well. Mm. Nice thick bits of chicken, and um, yeah, it's a, 
So it's a chicken fillet, that. Usually, if I'm honest with you, I prefer a uh, chicken thigh meat. I think that goes really well. Yeah. Fried chicken. Yeah. But that's all right. And with that sauce on that burger, it just brings the flavour in together. So good. So, you've got some fries here. Look, what's these? Oh, do you want to share these? I'm going to share them, yeah? Well, I thought you were getting a special as well, you see. Well, we're going to get some wings and some bites. True teriyaki special. wings, yeah. But yeah, you, sure. we'll share it, you know, I'm not greedy and uh, I'm happy to share with you. Uh, um, so these are the see, Sriracha, um, or Sriracha, I'm not sure how you pronounce it. S sriracha, isn't it? Sriracha. sriracha. So sriracha. I got it wrong twice. Hey, First time Sriracha. Looking. I think it's, do, do not go off me because I'm, I always get something okay. wrong. Take this with a pinch of salt and Sriracha. Yeah. 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 You dig in first, then you have a go. Oh, up. okay, is right. That Parmesan on there. Looks like it. Yeah. yeah. Looks like it. Yeah, unless. Uh, um... mm. Yeah, that's really good. You know. Yeah. It's lovely. Mm. I usually go for the red sriracha. It's, right, it's not look. often I have the orange one. It's a, it's a mayo, isn't it? Oh yeah. So what we've got there, guys? You've got the sriracha mayo. Got a nice kick to it, that haven't you? Mm, it does. Quite Lumps of chicken, a beautiful coating on that chicken, and then it's topped off with looks like chives, onion, and then a bit of parmesan. That parmesan that comes through pretty strong and goes well with the sauce. Oh, here we oh go. thank you very much. Cheers, the bag. To them. Oh, thanks. Oh, can I have a serviette, please? Yeah. Thank you. Cheers. So these will be the. Oh yes, please. I was going to ask actually. And I just dig in. Do you want a Do you want a serviette? Yes, please. My Thank pleasure. You. There you go. White, white, I'll, white I'll, me mush. I'll put it under the box so they don't yep. fly away. There you oh, go. Thank you. Cheers. It's really kind of you. Cheers. Stop. Stop. I'm going to go in for this. Can I try so one? Can I try one of your wings? Help! Help! It. So the boneless bites. These ones. Oh, right, lovely. Barbecue boneless bites. Looks like they've got a nice crisp on them. Oh yeah. Huh. Don't drop it. Almost went everywhere. Mm. My God, that's good. Got some wings here, oh, I love it. Oh, so these are the teriyaki wings. Yeah. These, and are, these are the boneless bites. Yeah. yeah. Oh, is that the Brody sauce? No, that's barbecue. Oh, I see. Right. Yeah. Brody sauce is in the burger. On the burger. burger. I've had that. Oh, okay. I've had that, love. Yeah. yeah. So hmm. yeah, so the boneless bites have got a nice, nice crisp coating, beautiful soft chicken. But that barbecue sauce is quite nice. Got a nice little tang to it, I think. Yeah, 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 no, it was, it was really good. It had a real tang at the end of yeah. it, yeah, a little bit spicy. That's why I thought it may have been the Brodies, you know? Yeah, no, no, the Brodies, it's, 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 got a, it, it's like that, but with a bit of a tomato taste to it as well. Yeah. Right, guys, look at these. These are the wings. Nice and fried up, beautiful, them. Got a nice bit of colour in there with it, with the seasoning on top, sesame seeds, and teriyaki sauce. So if you want to go get the first one... Thank you very much. I'll grab the saucy there one at the bottom. <laughs> And let's have a go at the. Oh, yeah, I should have you, you have this one. I'm going to get in a night mess here. Right. Go for it. Whoop, whoop. Whoa. Oh, it's a tearing they're, 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 they are a big wing, aren't they? Mm. Oh. Generous portion, isn't it? My God. They're red up. Straight out of it. I'm getting your table all dirty. Just a sec, I'll put this underneath. And I'll... Wow. <laughs> so the crispiness, guys, of this coating is crispy, that, isn't it? Nice. Beautiful chicken on there. They're a massive wing. Mm. Yeah. They're a lot bigger than the standard wings you get at takeaway, yeah. isn't they? Tasty, beautiful. The teriyaki sauce is quite nice, actually. Mm. Really crispy as well. And... Oh. Right, guys. <laughs> got myself in a right mess here. It's lucky I got you those serviettes, isn't it? It is. You, you, you must have known. Oh, I'm a forward thinker. Right, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to wet my whistle. Which cost us 46 quid, right? And I think on average the burgers are about, you know, eight <sighs> quid, seven, eight quid. The wings, four quid, shakes. The flavour for me coming out of this is absolutely amazing. The burgers that I tried, beautiful, beautiful beef, beautiful chicken, beautiful bread bun, fresh salad. These are just amazing. I think that's a box of, uh, like, it's like, box of heaven. And then these little bites here, I'm having another one. These these are just like pockets, mostly full of flavour. What do you think? Yeah, no, I'd, uh, uh, it's hard to disagree with anything you've said there. Um, I'd say, I think, I'll wait for the tractor to go back. Um, I'd say this is, this is 
fantastic. I'd, I'd say this is either you've got to be very hungry or it's a sharer, I suppose, isn't it? Yeah. This, this thing. This is, um, but uh, that's a meal on its own, I suppose, isn't it? I, um... So, guys, if you've been here, let me know what you think. If you've not been, come down and try it out. All right, Broders in Pudsey. Now, this is the chance now we're going to rate it out of 10. So, what do you think? I'd, uh, it's hard to argue anything but a 10 out of 10. Like, it's, it's fantastic, yeah? Yeah. So, I've got to let you into a secret now. Right. All right, we invited you here today. Yeah. I can't actually rate this. I can't, I, I can't give this food a rating because uh, I, I actually own this place. <laughs> so it's mine, guys. I finally gone and done it. All right, I'm in partnership with a lovely lady in here. We put this menu together. Well, I'm glad I didn't give it anything less than the I ten know. now. Yeah. So we put this menu together. <laughs> Obviously, me travelling about and, and getting little tips and tricks everywhere. But the the cracking chef that's in there, he puts together some absolutely lovely food. So yeah. So for me, it's uh, it's a solid. I can't give it because it would be a bit biased. But it is nice food, and I'm glad that you've come today. And shared it with me, so I thank yeah. you for that. But well, you've got an independent report saying it's a 10 out of 10, don't Ooh, you? There you go. So yeah. the and I fooled him. <laughs> <laughs> so, Hood guys. Hoodwinked me, you know. That's it. Thank you very much. I'll see you next time. We're going to crack on with this. See you later. Oh, I'm going to finish the rest of this wing, you know. Uh, all right. You'll crack on with what you want I if will. you want some more of them. Well, I'm a bit of, I'm a bit, I feel like I don't look very gracefully in it like this. Oh. Oh. Now then guys, we're down here at Brodie's if you want some cracking burgers, some beautiful chicken and some absolutely beautiful food with a service with a smile, come down, see Ashley, alright, cut this ribbon, we are open, get ready to go, go. ho ho ho, come on let's get some grub, let's have it. <laughs>